Hello everyone, welcome. We're going to be doing some Assassin's Creed 2 today. Um, you might be wondering, well Brian, you've done Assassin's Creed 2 before, you did it in 2014. Yes, exactly. I did it in 2014, nearly 10 years ago. So I think it is time to revisit Assassin's Creed 2. Um, additionally, we had recently, and I mean recently as in 2020, uh, played through Assassin's Creed the original on stream. Now I figure, okay, I want to do Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, my favorite of the games in the series. But just to do due diligence, I'll uh, be doing Assassin's Creed 2 uh, again, just to kind of give it a, a fair shot, fair shake. Um, we are doing this, obviously, in the Ezio collection, which is on the PS4. Um, so it should hopefully look significantly better than it did back then. Spoiler, it does. Because, um, <laughs> oh boy, I've, I looked at some old footage uh, of, of Assassin's Creed 2 that we did 10 years ago. And uh, it, it didn't age well, visually. So... Let's see how Assassin's Creed 2 in the SEO collection looks instead. Now, I don't remember if there's an actual, like, dialogue cutscene. There probably is. I don't think... Actually, no, there isn't. There isn't. So we're going to see that in a minute. But um, basic st uh, standard fare, don't, you know, turn off the console while the save icon is saying is going and inspired by historical events and characters work of fiction was designed developed and produced by a multicultural team of various religious faiths and beliefs yeah we're uh, assassin's creed 2 assassin's creed 2 had a significant increase in quality and story and mechanics over the initial uh the original game um, the game that launched it all, which, oh my gosh, when when did the original Assassin's Creed come out? Um, I want to say 2007? Maybe? Let's see. Just a quick search. Because if it did come out, yeah, November, the original release was November 13th, 2007. Hey, look at that. We're going to be, what is that, 2007, 2023... We're 16 years. 16 years later. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's get right into it. We are. I already have a story mission, a story mode session going, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and purge that because, as you can see, I didn't touch this thing since 2019, so we we don't really need that. So we're just gonna do a new game. I'm gonna keep it as standard. Uh, Standard naming convention. Let's get into it. My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using you, using me to search for something. They call it the Apple. It's an artifact, one of many so-called pieces of Eden. The Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. But she's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her. Or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here. And I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. All right, so there we go. We have an actual story 
preference kind of thing. So, yep, we are currently in eagle mode. We can see some things on the wall. We can press any button. Um, I'm wondering why there weren't any subtitles with that intro. I'll add them probably later. I don't know yet, but... We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they... Now. All right, so we uh, we have Lucy here. If I hold triangle, it actually gives us our eagle vision. We can see all the things, and we get to see that Lucy is listed as blue, which is an ally. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then... Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. All right, let's get in the Animus. The Animu. Kind of clunky looking, given that uh, it's just like a table with some spinal, like, sensors or, or whatever in the, the heads-up display kind of thing. So we're Subject 17, and Subject 16 was before us, but it's confidential, so we don't know who that is yet. And I don't know if we know about... I don't remember if we find out about that person in this one or in future games. Dispatch, I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. It's an actually a very interesting way to get you to, like, know what your buttons are for your controls. Because it is a relatively unusual control scheme, all things considered. Y you know, it it's one of those... Time, Desmond. We have to leave. All right, so we're on our way out. Uh, if we hold right trigger, we can do some fast running. Oh, that feels a little weird. Really so this is just like an HD remaster of a game from like 20, 2008, 2009. Um, so it's uh, it's a thing. It, it has some. It has some. It and it, it, idiosyncrasies and whatnot that are a little unusual for games nowadays, but it still plays reasonably well, all things considered. Don't let them get away. Holy shit! So it's uh, we're just gonna get get out of Abstergo here, uh, however we can. And let's see, let's just keep following Lucy on our way out. Well, she'll lead us the right way. What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Also, this next room that we're going to be in is very tall, and it's not efficiently using any uh, using the space. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. All right, so we got to avoid all of the guards. And we're just going to follow Lucy on our way out. Is that an animus? 
Hold on. Check both ways before you cross the road. How many of them are there? Hold on. Hold on. Is it animuses or animi? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desmond, shut the fuck up. Please. It's, you know, that's fair. He's getting kind of like stupid about it. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Shit. Oh, come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. Ooh, he's getting powers. It's always something. What was that in the animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? Oh boy, we can just walk out of the elevator and we get to fight. So left trigger basically locks us onto a target. If we held left trigger or hit left trigger and use right trigger, we can actually use it as like a, a blocking mechanism. We can also grab people, throw them. Let's see if we can uh, do a parry. I don't know if we can. There we go. Whoa, hey, that's a little weird. You know, let's just... Let's just punch some people. If you hit the... If you time the, the button presses correctly, or time them well, and you hit... You can actually do, like, a nice little combo. There we go, I took down, like, two of them. Lucy took down the rest. Don't worry about it. It's fine, Desmond. You're you're good. Also, this is a really dark uh Oh wow, that that changes it so much. I'm going to do it a 6 out of 10. That seems a little bit better. Oh, no. 6 out of 10. There we go. There we go. Now I can see. Get in. You're joking. For your own protection. Oh, man. Yeah, hide in the trunk, Desmond. Nice. So we get just a ride in the darkness of the trunk. Nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing special. Oh man, it, it's it's a nice like hidden loading zone kind of thing though thanks for that it was great shoving the trunk bouncing around Love this it. way so, not e not even gonna say anything just there was a reason for the escape desmond figures we need your help for what another treasure hunt through time abstergo's gonna replace their apple of eden the map your ancestor found guarantees it the other assassins They'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. 
I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Now, I will say, uh, despite this being the Ezio collection having some textures and whatnot revamped, it still has some funkiness, but we'll we'll gloss over that. Lucy, you made it. God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Okay. Effective. Cool. Let's take a look around quick and see what we're dealing with here. Um, looks like we just have a nice little... These are some funky bookshelves, but kind of cool, I guess. Um, let's talk to this guy. What, what, ooh, uh, press any button. What's this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. Sean's a little bit of a, um, jackass. He's very, uh, egotistical. Not egotistical, but he's a bit of a pain. Yeah. So everyone's here is blue, so they're all allies, which is nice. Um, and we have some screens and stuff like that. Let's see if we can see some anything else on them. Doesn't really look like it. Maybe some uh, security camera stuff says alert, but doesn't say what for. So let's see what Rebecca has to say. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. All right, so we have a new Animus, which looks a lot more comfortable than the uh, the one we were in in the first game. Random bed up on the platform, kind of kind of weird, but hey, whatever. Um, so let's see what Lucy has to say. Hey, listen, I just wanted to say thank you, and that I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before everything at Abstergo, it was just I wasn't ready. It's okay. No, going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. All right, fair, cool. All right, so let's get right into it. Let's uh, take a seat and see what we can do. Um, or actually, you know what? No, we're not going to do that right now. We're at about 20 minutes in, so I'm going to actually end this here. Um, I thank you all for watching. Uh, we're going to take a look... Can I do anything with this over here? No. Okay. So I thank you all for watching. We're going to continue on next time with more Assassin's Creed 2, where we actually get to go back in history to Ezio Auditore da Firenze's life and see how that all goes and what trials and tribulations he uh, experiences throughout his life. So I thank you all for watching. Hope you had a good one. If you enjoyed the episode, 
please leave a like and a comment as to what you enjoyed. If you didn't, leave a dislike and what you didn't like, and we can improve from there. Um, I hope you all stick around for the journey. It's going to be a fairly good one, I hope. Um, it's a good, great game, but uh, only if you guys are along for the ride. Thank you. Have a good one.